Hey everybody, my name is Ace Fangirl, and welcome back to another episode of Finding Paradise. Last time, we went through that memory that Neil kind of started for us, and then we somehow jumped back all the way to, like, a bird story timey times, and that was weird. And then now we're, we're back to oldish age Colin, and we don't have any explanation for why or how this occurred. TBH. Got nothing. But here we are, back again, and uh, we're gonna explore this, this little cabin first. Flight regulations were still so chill back in the day, huh? The, oh, this is his final flight, by the way, in case I didn't say that. Eh, times change. Uh, what else can we look at? Uh, nothing, apparently, in here. He went out to go see his family. So I guess we should follow. There he is. Hi. Should we just, what can we do here? Oh, here they come. I'll just uh, scoot into the aisle to let them pass by. Neil, you are in the way. Neil, okay. So what do you two say, one last round? Is it all right with management? Already approved, special occasion and all. You heard him, Ma, go, go, go. Oh, it's cute. Let's go see how they're doing up here. Oh. So, you gonna miss the views? From the big birds? Sure. <laughs> Funny that you should sit. Nothing. But it's not like I'm giving up the sky. Oh, don't you go renting those small planes. I don't trust you flying in them. Speaking of, I wish they gave you a bigger plane for the last flight of your career. Like, one of those monster double-deckers. I've always wanted to go on one of those planes, I'm not gonna lie. They look so cool. <sighs> I asked for this particular one myself. I had my first flight with the airline in this. It was a different time back then. A time with lots of peanuts. I miss them so much. <laughs> you know, Dad. All the years of flying, and you never told me why you chose to be a pilot in the first place. Oh, I haven't, huh? Psst, don't tell your mother, but it was to impress a girl. Yeah? Did it work? Sure, I guess. Oh, please. The way your father acted, I doubt he dated anyone at all when we met. Shots fired, Dad. <laughs> hey now, Fia, don't go spreading false rumors in front of our son. I'll have you know that I was quite the stud back in the days. Captain, just a reminder that we're on the record for the black box. <laughs> oh, thanks for the reminder. Is Neil sitting in the pilot's seat? I just noticed right now, but I definitely think he is. Neil, what you doing there? Let's just... Yeah, I sorry, I had to bring it closer to make sure that I was seeing this correctly. Let the record show that my biceps are out of this world. No. No, they really aren't. Oh, but they are. When I pulled that yoke on takeoff earlier, I practically lifted the entire plane off the ground. I don't think that's how that works, but I wouldn't know. Isn't that right, Peyton? Yes, Captain. <laughs> yeah? Well, let me tell you all a story about this one time involving a jar of pickles. Okay, we need to maintain a sterile cockpit for landing. Let's get you two back to your seats. Off you go now. Shoo shoo. <laughs> Sir, we're not landing for another couple of hours. I know. Oh, sorry, we're back. We're back doing things. I thought they were going to keep talking. Neo, get out of there. I'm trying to talk to him. Can I not? <laughs> he knows. He knows that I see him. Okay, what can I what can I do in here? Can I still can I leave? So uh, are you coming with or what? 
Nah, I like this view. I thought you were acrophobic. Only when I'm not inside a plane. How about you go wrap up this memory and I'll join you shortly after? Are you serious? It's on a loop. Yeah, but the picture from the seat's angle is just absolutely divine. In fact, I pity you or anyone else who can't see the way the horizon meets the really Neil thinks a lot. Don't give me that cabbage. Cabbage emojis. Oh, hi. Oh, that's this is him letting everyone off. Thank you for the lovely flight, sir. Wow, I bet if captains only caught that. Cheers, hope you have a nice day. Hello, little one, hope you enjoyed the... The landing sucked! <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry it was a little rough. Not one of my better landings, the wind was... Regret, bad landing! <gasps> we could change that! Aw, oh, no one else is saying anything. This was a pretty big plane. Oh, can I just... Will they just endlessly come if I stand here? The infinite plane! Infinitely many people. <laughs> I can just exit. Wow. Oh, so much for be being a small plane. Hi, how's it going, guys? Oh, a fellow cellist, huh? Here, let me get that for you. Thank you, sir. Yay, are you good at the cello? Huh, <laughs> not really. My wife is the real musician of the family. Beautiful instrument, though. I loved playing it as a kid. Received no cello. We should check those, hold on. Regret, bad landing. The last landing of Colin's career didn't quite hit the mark. Oh yeah, this is definitely something we could do something about. And Colin loved playing the cello as a kid. Okay. We could totally do that. I'm guessing it's gonna be the case, right? Yeah. Are we gonna jump back to kid times again, though? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, well, this one looks pretty simple. Oh, it just gave me another green one there, though. Did you see that? That was a little weird. All right. Neil, are you coming? Neil? No? Neil? Okay. Bye, Neil. Bye, Neil. Sup? Dude, I was just about to... Okay, bye. <laughs> we are! Now we're back to kid again. Dude, this is so weird. Uh, how did we skip to the childhood memories again? And this time the memento isn't even that book. Is there something wrong with the machine, Neil? See, that was what I was thinking. He did say he changed it. Huh? It's not the machine. At least, I don't think it is. Well, I guess at least we know that we can go back now. Let's just hope this doesn't interfere with finishing this job. Relax, we'll manage. This is so strange. Is there literally anything else left, Miss Miller? Nope. The cello for you, kid. Take it. This is your instrument. Get used to it. Wow, <laughs> what a mean teacher. Loved playing cello as a kid, my arse. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Wow, you belong at a great school. Your childish jabs aside, Eva, and on an unrelated note, this place kind of makes me feel like I'm on the set of some indie French film. Uh, what? What about this possibly makes you feel that way? I don't know, just a feeling. Neil, did you do this? Did you turn on French music? Cello! Colin hated playing the cello as a kid. Huh. 
Neil, why did you start playing this? No, we're playing as Neil now, of course. <laughs> did you just want an excuse to use this French music? Probably. Are we gonna go outside and be like in France? No? Hey, don't push. I call dibs on the violin, it's so light to carry. I'm gonna get the flute, it fits in my backpack. Man, I'm so glad I never had this experience. Aw, poor kid, he's so small. I guess we should follow him? Oh wait, he's over here too, hold on, let's go this way first. Why are you doing out here? What's he doing? Counting dirt, I guess. Didn't he, didn't we see him get kicked out of the class one time? Requires, oh, never mind. Bye. <gasps> the trees. Did you see that? Is he carrying that thing or is it carrying him? Ha <laughs> ha. Looks like just a floating case from behind. LOL. Kids are mean. Well, I'm glad to know this is really part of the school's decor. <laughs> oh my god, I remember this. This is from a bird story. Wow, this is awkward to watch. <laughs> Eva, why do we get all these losers as our clients? Maybe because you're here, moron. Aw, well, that's a nice compliment under Gauss's law for magnetism. Okay, that was nerdy. Okay, where else is he? Let's see it. No? Okay. Well, they're just gonna keep disappearing. Didn't this happen when we played a bird story too? Didn't they just kind of disappear and reappear? I feel like that happened. Uh, okay. What can we do here though? Do we have to catch this running dude here? He looks kind of darker than the rest of them. Maybe he's important. No? Or maybe not. Well, I've made two running dudes now. Congratulations. Wait, one of them looks a little bit more defined than the other ones. Maybe that's just me, but... Uh... Can I go down the slide? It requires three. So I should... Are we gonna talk about these lockers turning into trees? Or are we not, just not gonna talk about it? Apparently we're just not. Can I talk to him standing outside the door? No. Did I miss anything in here? Can I talk to him again to get more? If you wanted something else, you should have lined up earlier. Wow, what a mean lady. She's not very nice. There's gotta be something else in the playground, right? Because I can't go in here yet. I need three, and I only have two. This is an issue. I was hoping he might give me one. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, let's think about this. Can I get on the other end of the seesaw, maybe? <laughs> Just launch him, that'll, that'll work. This is weird. There's gotta be some, like, oh, this kid has a yo-yo. He seems special. Let's talk to him. Oh, he's gone. As soon as I walk over them, they disappear. But then they reappear. So it's not like I can... Oh, he just ran into me. Well, now I have... I'm gonna stand here. Make them stop running. Ha ha! I've stopped you! Oh. Well, that didn't seem to do anything. This is confusing! Is- am I stupid? 
Like, what am I missing here? There's gotta be something I can look at. That is not him. Let's leave him alone. Oh wait, he already is! Dang, that's cold, Neil. Cause like, these guys disappear. Is there, like, one person that doesn't disappear? And I have to, like, find them? That seems cheap. This background looks kind of trippy. If you get... I mean, with the, with the film grain going over it, it looks a little bit weird. Oh god, what do I do? I'm so confused. I feel really stupid right now. And no one is acknowledging trees turning into lockers. Um, well... I just... This is like, off the horses all over again. I, uh, and then, granted, the, the getting off the horses was me being stupid, but I, I don't know if this is just me being stupid. And, uh, yeah, I'm just very, I feel very dumb right now. Uh, it's probably going to be something really stupid, too, is the thing. Oh, they just started their dialogue over. Dang it, I thought it might be them. Um... Well, I don't want to make you sit here through all of this. So I'm going to do a little bit of looking around. And I will cut back when I find it. I'll be right back. I'm... I... <laughs> okay, so apparently I just didn't walk close enough to one of these locker trees in order to get them to talk about it. And this might be what I was missing. At any rate, this is something new. So, uh, I wandered about for about three more minutes before deciding to come over here. Huh, I have a feeling these aren't exact replicas from the actual setting. It's as if his memories took quite the creative liberty in mixing things up. Yup. Isn't the machine built with public domain data stabilizers to prevent this? Uh, yeah, but maybe broken? Maybe? You're the tech specialist. Yeah, I'll have a look afterwards. All right, okay, that was it. That was what I missed. That's stupid. I was trying to look at them, and I couldn't get any magnifying glass, so I didn't think I needed to go over there. All right, so now we can go in here, right? Okay, I vaguely remember this from Bird Story. Here he is. Do I need to... Okay, well. I remember this when she's teaching about, like, a cat or something. Can I, like, go behind him, maybe? Can I look at him? Here we go. It's, like, below him, which is a little weird. Colin? Hi. Colin! Uh, the answer is C. What? I'll ask you again. What is the radius of this circle? Oh, it's not a cat. Uh... <laughs> Man, I get you, man. I was never good at math. Where's your head at, Colin? Go stand out in the hall. Oh. Okay. Uh. The clock again? Is it gonna be another clock thing? Yep. Hmm. That could be our ticket out of here. Alright. I think we could reach it if we just. Nah. I got this. Let me find a way. Neo, what are you gonna do? Go stand it. No, I didn't want to talk to you, lady. Alright, now watch this. Is that a freaking wand? Wait, you didn't disable the. Mobi. Mobi. Uh. Teacher's Deskus. Oh my god, he didn't. Everyone totally just saw that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! And down. Did you kids just flip and see that? Dude. Reset. Okay, first of all, disable reactive interactivity before you pull that stuff. And second of all, that's not even how that spell goes. Uh, yeah it is. Did you see that thing fly? 
They sure did, you village idiot. <laughs> oh my god. So what, she's just not gonna care that her desk is over here now? Or do they just not know? Maybe they just don't know. Or we could have just climbed up and taken it off the wall. Hmm. What? Nothing. I guess I was expecting you to start saying dumb things again. Eva, do you know how draining it is to unleash a Kamehameha and a Hadouken simultaneously? I mean, I know I'm a pro, but even I need my beauty sleep. Frickin' Neo. Gotta love him. Got to love him. Um, okay. So we've got that. And what if I do this? This, and then I can just move this all the way up. Like that? Yeah! It's 3 p.m. It's almost the end of the day, anyways. She didn't need to kick him out of the hall. Wait, what was that? What does that button do? Oh, is that just the climb up button? Okay, fine. Let's activate it. Is this gonna take us back to old timey times? Uh, yeah, it looks like they're moving into their apartment. Uh, oh, that's right, they did have one of these clocks. Um, are we back at the old age period again? Well? Let's see. Yep, so it would seem. And here it is, the perfect retirement apartment. So wait. We sure are. So is this before the plane thing or after? Okay. I think I got it figured out. Mm hmm? I mean, we haven't just been jumping back and forth randomly, right? There's a pattern to it. Oh good, it's gonna show me. With all our other patients, we began from the most recent point and gradually traced backwards. And in this case, it did start like that. For the first two memories in his oldest time, everything went just as normal. But then we somehow got slingshotted. Yeah, all the way back there. All the way to the earliest accessible memory. So we cleared that and once again leaped back. To the older times where we left off. Then to the earlier ones again, moving forward. So we're just going in a circle, kinda. And once more to the older time, moving backwards. These jumps aren't in a random order, and nor do they form just any pattern. We're going in a spiral! It's the pattern of a decaying orbit. Oh, shoot. That can't be good. It's almost as if we're being pulled in, spiraling toward a gravitational center. A gravitational center, huh? Inappropriate context for physics aside, what do you think is causing this? Some oh-so-deep event of melodramatic angst that traumatized our fine gentlemen? I don't know. Maybe it is a memory of that sort, but... Maybe it's something else. See, I don't think it is. Because he doesn't want anything changed. Uh, something else? What could be here other than memories? Like I said, I don't know. It's just that we've seen a lot of patients, and there's never been a memory that's done this. Alright. I guess at least this one isn't routine, then. Hmm. We'll see. Alright. That's gonna be where we end off for today. This is weird, man. But I guess it means these episodes are gonna have a pattern. I was doing two at a time anyways, so we're always gonna start with an old and go to a young, and then... Yeah. But why, though? I have a suspicion that it's something to do with what Neil's been doing to the machine. He's being a bit sketchy about it. And his adjustments may not have just been simple adjustments after all. But I don't know. It could be something else entirely. It could be something to do with Colin's life. I don't know yet. Maybe we'll find out soon. 
But at any rate, it looks like we've got quite a bit of the spiral to go before we get to the gravitational center that he was talking about. I guess we'll find out soon enough, but maybe not next time. I'll still see you then. Bye!